hello and welcome to another episode of the power woman video series please remember to watch all previous ones on our youtube channel power woman tv my name is kande daniel now wouldn't it be ridiculous for anyone male or female to be seen on the streets today dressed in fresh green leaves or wrapped in strips of woven cloth as they used to be in the olden days well that's how laughable it is when we try to pull up or hold on to traditions and cultural practices that are useless harmful or just counterproductive i will not hesitate to say it is both parochial and insensitive, selfish and hypocritical for anyone to embrace only self-serving aspects of modernity while resisting things that are beneficial to other people. I mean, why did the tradition of denying women inheritance rights last until the year 2020? Why? How? And this was happening in a part of Nigeria that prides itself in perceived higher levels of education and civilization than others. Ah, plus the pervasive practice of the Christian religion, or should I say pervasive church attendance in that area. Well, from the religious angle, denying women the right to inherit property is not Christian or biblical. I'll save us the trouble of digging further. And contrary to uninformed opinions, our other major religion, Islam, is not in support of the abominable practice of disinheritance of women. The Quran gives detailed guidelines that greatly favor women concerning this. In fact, in some instances, it appears as if women are favored over men. So, neither religion nor the traditions of most other Nigerian tribes stipulate disinheritance of women. Moreover, the law is against it. Check sections 42 and uh, 2, 2 of the Nigerian constitution. The constitution is supreme over customary and any other law of the land. Such discrimination is prohibited. It's also a contravention of international legal instruments to which Nigeria is signatory. We should really not stay long on this matter. It's just wrong, fundamentally unjust. So, we celebrate the recent landmark judgment of the Supreme Court, ruling categorically that female children are entitled to inherit property. I'll end this video with a call on Igbo women to stand up for their rights and a call on law enforcement agencies to ensure implementation in Igbo land in particular and across the country in general. Let's keep the conversation going on the social media handles of Power Woman TV. Join us, please.